my friend and welcome back. My name is Hannah and today I have my monthly uh, November haul. Yes, everything that I bought in the month of November. Um, I won't be including my Sephora haul purchases in this video only because I've already made a dedicated video on it and a lot of the things that I purchased are not really makeup related or things that I could easily talk about. I think the two makeup items I have I will be mentioning in this video because I've had time to use them in the month but everything else is more just like hair care stuff so I already gave you my thoughts and opinions on that in the previous video. I will have it linked down below um, if you were interested to see what I had purchased. Um, as well as links down below, anything that I'm wearing on my face that I mentioned in this video, I always have links down below. That's where you can find all the things that I'm using or talking about. Um, I'm, I'm not affiliated in any way. So when you click on those links, it's not giving me money in any way. Um, it's I just put it through a website that makes the links shorter so I can fit a lot more information down there. Um, I don't know, just wanted to let you guys know because I know that there's some people who don't want to click on links because what if you don't like this video and you don't like me and you don't, I get it. So they're not affiliated, they're just shorter, shop away. Um, what else? I, I'm not going to do this in any particular order, I'm just going to go in my box of things. Um, I do have some items that I didn't purchase, they were either a gift with purchase or they were a gift from a friend. Um, so those items I will give that note to. And what else? Oh, there are two two items that I purchased that I don't have in this box, um, but I'll insert a picture here. So I'll start with that. Um, I did get the bath bomb from the uh, ColourPop Rudolph collection and the ears. Um, you'll probably see those ears in an upcoming video. But I did get the bath bomb. I got two of them. I've actually used one already. Um, it does leave a shimmer in the bath. It makes the bath like this icy blue and it leaves like a shimmer on your skin. Um, if you don't like that, then <laughs> I wouldn't purchase them. But unlike the um, Powerpuff Girl bomb, like bath bomb that I saw, I, I saw a lot of people kind of disappointed with that and they thought it was more of like those um, like bubble bars from Lush. This one actually fizzes and bubbles up um, if you were interested in that. So if the glitter doesn't scare you and and you like kind of like a minty scent, I paired it with like my normal bath, bath soap that I use. Um, which is like a gooseberry kind of scent, so it didn't it didn't bother me. It didn't change anything. I don't mind the shimmer that it left on my skin. I thought it was really pretty. It's definitely a um, a winter kind of balm, and so I probably will try to pick a few more of those up because I do enjoy them. Um, so I know Soul Body had just released a collection of bath bombs, so I don't know if they're the same formula and kind of perform in the same way where like they leave your skin feeling nice and the scent is really nice and you enjoy taking baths, maybe that will help you make your purchase decision. Um, I did also get the ears. They are a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be, but they're like the perfect kind of accessory. I like accessories like that because if I ever cosplay in a holiday season, I can usually throw those in my wigs and it's kind of fun and different. Um, but I do also plan to kind of like wear them to work and whatever. Um, I don't know. I just like festive hair clips. Uh, okay, so let's start with the things that I have in my box. Um, again, not going in any particular order. Oh, but I'll start with my Nabla lip liners. Um, I can tell you that I absolutely love them and I love having all of them. Um, the, I do have this shade like number four, nude number four. This one is a bit deeper, but I've been pairing it with my, um, you'll see it in an upcoming video. I've been pairing this lip liner in particular with my um, Charlotte Tilbury Walk No Shame lipstick and it is so, so pretty. I. It's really good, especially if you like those like deeper kind of brown tones. Um, shades one through three, like, I don't know, they're, they look very similar like when you hold the pens together, but one's definitely a neutral, one's warmer, and one's cooler, and I like having the variety. So now that I have these lip liners, like I don't think I need any other lip liner in my collection, only because I already have these and I really, really enjoy them. They do last all day. They kind of outperform a lot of the lip products that I put on my lip. 
Um, so the lip liner will stay and it's very lasting. Um, I think these are really good, especially for the price point. I think these are really, really good. I think they're just slightly more expensive than the NYX ones. I find these ones are a bit more affordable because I believe they're only like $11. You can get them off Ulta, you can get them off Beauty Bay, you can get them off the Nabla website. Um, these are really, really good. Oh, I guess how I'll continue with Nabla. So I have the Freckle Maker and I tried that. I'm even wearing it today. Um, so. My first impression was that I hate the applicator and that still stands true. I don't think it's a very good applicator at all. Um, I don't think I'm a novice when it comes to using freckled items. Um, I like using the pens. I've used the freck uh, marker before. Um, and I like the freck product. It's just that it's super expensive for what it is. But I loved it because it's like the natural kind of freckle maker or like beauty mark maker and for cosplay like it looks really good and it captures on camera really really well. Um, this one in particular like it looks good on camera like when I take my photos and like cosplay with them I can make them work and editing them isn't too too difficult. But when I'm like looking at my actual face um, they do come off a little bit more red and because like they they almost set instantly. They say to like leave for a few seconds to make the mark like darker, but honestly, like I just do one, you have to work in small sections and I'll do one or two dots at a time and it doesn't spread them out the way that Freck does. It just kind of blots them in. So it has more of like a red tone. Do I think it's the best? No, I'm gonna use it until like I don't have it anymore. I'm gonna try to perfect it. But as far as like a, a freckle making product, it's not like the easiest to use and I don't think it's the best. I think the applicator is absolutely rotten. I have used it with other brushes and things like that. Um, but like I said, it just leaves like a, this red like finish to it. And maybe if I had like more tan skin, it would be a little bit different. But I mean, I would give it like a six out of 10. And I think that's being nice. Um, the other Nabla, or excuse me, the other Nabla items I got were the Two Reasons and Soft Nude and Flush Terracotta. I am, okay, so I'm on the fence about these because I still can't figure out how to use the gloss part. Um, the blush itself, like the cream blush, I like, but I don't think it is as lasting as you would want it to be. Like you apply it and it's very pigmented and it looks really good. And then as you go to continue your makeup, you can see it disappearing. I have a video for that as well. I'll have that link down below. Um, but you can see as I've applied it and I used one as like more like a bronzer shade and one more as like a blush. So I'm using both of them and they both just kind of disappeared almost into the same color and this terracotta shade is a lot deeper than what this soft nude shade is so that's like a little weird to me i don't know if the balm helps the shade last longer i would have to go in with like some powder products to kind of like set it to kind of keep the color but even then um it would kind of break up weird as the day went on and the gloss stays sticky all day like the gloss never sets the cream blush sort of it does like um a cream to powder kind of finish but it's still a bit tacky so i don't know I, for me especially because i have long hair um my hair will stick to my face when i wear these i i don't think these are the best i think these i think there are people who like if they, you don't mind the tackiness and, and whatnot I think you would really enjoy these, but I don't know. Again, I still don't quite understand the, gla the gloss aspect to it and the overall finish I'm not like super excited about. So again, I would give these more of like a five out of 10. Like the idea is there and I really, really want to love these and I'm still playing with them to try to figure it out. But I mean, I would be lying if I said that I didn't have these shades already in my collection and formulas and finishes that I'm crazy about so I'll leave that um let's talk about some of my okay these are the two items from my Sephora haul or for my Sephora sale haul um and this one is the Huda Silk Balm and Honey Kiss I have this in my work bag this is like my favorite work balm it isn't like an 
average lip balm though. So like if you get a chapstick or whatever and you can apply it multiple times throughout the day, that's fine. This one I can maybe reapply once or twice in my work day and then by the time I get home I kind of have like this like weird like not film on my lips but my lips kind of feel dry and then I have to go in and exfoliate my lips so if you're someone that's already exfoliating your lips on an almost daily basis kind of thing and that's not a problem for you you probably wouldn't notice um but I only exfoliate my lips when I feel like I have to I I don't know maybe I'm not doing it right but most of the time when I'm applying lip products, I don't have that problem. So for me, that's just a sign that it's a bit drying. But it is a nice lip balm when you apply it once. But if you're like me and you're living in a colder climate or an office that is like pumping that AC and it just gets a little bit dry in the air, this isn't the product for dry air. I think this is more like a summer, warmer weather kind of lip product versus winter. Um, so if you need a, something a bit more cushiony in the winter time, I wouldn't suggest this, but it's not bad. I'm not going to declutter it. I'm not going to get rid of it. It's probably going to live in my work bag for all of its life, but it's it's nice. I like it. Um, I don't think that there's much of like a honey scent to it. Like there's a little bit of something there, but not something crazy overwhelming, which I like because I still have to wear a mask at work. So if I have too many scents under my mask, I get, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Um, okay, and then I got the ABH uh, cream bronzer, which I am wearing today and I've been wearing in a majority of my looks. I really like this. I am happy that I got this on the sale. I'm happy. I think this is one of maybe, I think this is one of my staple products of 2021 um, as far as like items that I've purchased that I love, that I'm using daily, that I'm constantly reaching for. It lives on my vanity. I've kind of set up everything behind me to be items that like maybe I'm not reaching for every day and can kind of pick through my collection. The things that are on top of the desk in front of me are things that I know that I'm reaching for. So I know I'm reaching for my Fenty Ease Drop and I know I'm pairing it with this bronzer. It's really good. I would give this a 10 out of 10. Okay, and then I made um some other ColourPop purchases. I can't remember exactly did these come with I can't remember what I bought from Colourpop did I buy the ears and the bath bombs and then got the I remember there was a sale for Colourpop that if you bought x amount of items you got um, or if you bought like an x amount of like value you got x amount of items I can't remember what my items were now that I'm thinking about it Am I missing something? I might be missing something. Anyway, um, let's start with the two mascaras. I have the Level Up Mascara in black and brown. Um, when you first open these, these are absolutely wonderful and fantastic, but as they you start to expose it to air, and there's air kind of, be, you know, you're opening and closing it, it does get kind of clumpy, but not something that couldn't be fixed by just wiping the wand. Um, I have like a... Um, those larger makeup eraser cloths in here and so I'll kind of like wipe it to that and then apply it and it's not that big of a deal. It holds my curl and I think it performs very very well and for the price point I wouldn't mind repurchasing this. I just want to let you guys know if you don't like clumping or you're not someone that's gonna that likes to wipe your makeup brush because even if you wipe it on the side it, it's still you still are pulling up too much product I think. Um, this might not be for you but I don't mind it. I think it's a wonderful mascara and it's really easy to remove. It doesn't irritate my eyes. And like I said, I have very heavy straight lashes. So for it to still like hold a curl and kind of give me volume, my it's natural for my lashes to kind of fall almost instantly after I curl them. And that does happen with these, but not as like heavily as with other mascaras. So this is very light. So if you're like me and you have very heavy um, lash hairs that just are very argumentative and don't want to do anything this might be the mascara for you but like I said after like after you expose it to air and you start using it you are gonna notice that you know it is a little bit clumpy the brown one is a bit more clumpier than the black one I will say but the brown one holds my my curl up a little bit better than the black one but like again that's like pennies and nickels kind of thing um, in that purchase, I did get the Creamsicle Quad. I really enjoy this. I think this is cute. Would this be something that I add, 
like would purchase on my own no i do like that this was something that was added to my cart i have paired it with a few other palettes that i've just recently purchased i think this is nice to have i think this is like my equivalent to having like a magnetic palette of singles like I just have this little quad of like cute little pink shades that I can add. Um, definitely in a pinch, I think this like I think in the summertime when I'm just like not really wanting to sit here and do a whole song and dance with my makeup, this might be something that I reach for a bit more. But it's not bad. So if you could add, I don't know, if you had your eyes on the quads, I think the formula for the quads, these mini quads that they've been releasing, are really really good. Again, I think it's just my personal pre makeup preference. I kind of like the larger palettes where it gives me a few more selections, but that's just where my makeup routine is right now. I know for other people, they're just kind of reaching for one, two, three shades, kind of doing more simple looks. So if you are that person, I highly, highly recommend these color pop quads. These are really good. Um, the Zodiac ones, I always like the Libra, the Scorpio, and even the Cancer ones. The color stories are kind of similar in that they're like pinky, purpley kind of tones. But I really want to get my hands on those ones because they look really, really good. And the shimmers in there just look absolutely darling. So if you have those, let me know. Do I need to pick them up? Um, I also got the Super Sock Shadow in... I think this is decaf it's like a brown one um i put it over my like rubbed it into my entire lid and gone to work like that and then just used my mascara and i've liked it i don't really have much to say about the super shocks other than like i really like this formula and i think it's really nice um these are shadows that i don't really have to spray because they're already kind of moistened um Again, this was just added to my cart. Would I have purchased this? No, but it, it's, I guess it's nice to have. I, I don't know. This might be something that I declutter because I already have brown tones and palettes that I, like, I would reach for. When it comes to singles like this, I kind of forget about them. And because it's like a deep brown, it's not like I could repurpose it like for a blush or something. So I don't know. We'll see. And then I have the... Um, Lux Blur Lipstick, and this one is in Oasis. I'm probably going to pass this along to somebody else. Not because I don't like it, I just don't think this is a color tone that I reach for. It's more of like a corally kind of red. It's not super bright or anything. It's just, when it comes to reds, I like more of like the deeper, brownier kind of reds, like the Walk of No Shame. And this one is just a bit more too corally for me, and I don't think it's very like flattering and suiting, especially for the different types of eye looks that I do. Um, so I'm probably going to pass this along to one of my coworkers who would really, really enjoy this. I do like the Lux Blur formula though. They're almost like of this like jelly kind of like, well, maybe jelly isn't the word. They're just like very light and fluffy in a way that feels like gel on your lips. It's a really nice formula and it's very long lasting. I maybe, if I wear one, I maybe only have to reapply a few times in the day, you know, because I will eat and do things like that. So I don't know. I like this formula. This just isn't the shade for me. I like more of like brownie kind of, I like brown to nude brown and nude pink kind of tones on my lips. But let's talk about um, the highlighters and blushes I got from Be Perfect. Um, I know I mentioned in my video that I had purchased these off of their actual website. Let me check Beauty Bay and see if they're out. So I'll leave a note somewhere here um, if they're available on Beauty Bay, if they restocked. Because um, I think Beauty Bay is still doing some of their like holiday sales. I don't know. I look, I've been trying to avoid like looking at a lot of makeup news because it's just all been like, you know, Black Friday sales, like we're past Black Friday and we're past Cyber Monday, but they're still like, Melt has really been blowing up my email with like their sales and I'm like, all right, all right, I get it, I get it. Um, but let's talk about the products. So I love these. Um, the only downside to these is that I still have to wear a mask at work, so I can't wear these to work. I think it's hard for any makeup to be transfer proof when wearing a mask because it's so tight and close to your face and it's of a cloth material, regardless if you're wearing like a homemade one or a medical grade one, it's gonna rub. And for me and my skin type, when I have rubbing and friction like that, I will break out. Um, it will push products into you know pores and things like that. Um, and it breaks up my makeup and then it's like, what's, 
what is actually the point because I don't wear my makeup to not to have it like not look good. I don't think you need makeup to look good, but if I'm wearing makeup, I want it to look good, you know? So I think that's just more of a downside to the events of the world than these products, but I really, really love these. So this magma shade, as far as like a blush goes, I love an orange blush, like just a pure orange kind of blush. I think my skin tone and my undertones and like my overall like fashion and things like that, like really, really love orange for, for whatever it is. I just, I really love it. It is so nice and a little literally goes a long way. So this isn't going to be leaving my collection anytime soon. I might not reach for it as much during like the week. This might just be an item that I use for filming. Um, but I'm okay with that because you know, if knock on wood, uh, once we get past whatever this is and we gotta be wearing masks and then I can go to work because all of a sudden people decided to actually get vaccinated. Hopefully, um, then I can wear these blushes to work and then, you know, flex on everyone that I have a really beautiful blush. Uh, let's talk about the highlighters. So, okay, I have two of them. I have Ice Queen and Atmosphere. Um, I've been playing with the Atmosphere one, kind of like, I'm, I'm trying to kind of cultivate like a perfect Matrix cyberpunk-esque kind of um, makeup look. I... I want to film more casual cosplays and it's just the process of like coming up with a character and doing their makeup which is really fun for me but when it comes to like the game cyberpunk there isn't like specific characters per se it's just like the overall like essence of the game that I'm trying to capture so like I'm still working on that and I know no one cares because everybody hates cyberpunk and they're like it's a terrible game blah 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 but I love it I've been replaying it um I've been replaying it and I really love it and it's just been really fun for me and I like the colors and like the different clothing and the things in there and I don't know I guess I'm at a point right now where it's like I want to make the makeup looks that I wish were in the game but also pull some of the stuff that's actually in the game out so that's just kind of what I've been working on in, in the week in the few days where like when I'm not filming and I'm just playing with my makeup that's what I'm doing I'm making myself look crazy iridescent um, but this is definitely the highlighter that I reach for that but like I really this is like my favorite kind of highlighter anyway because it, it's like I, I don't want to say the word iridescent but it's like this pink purple kind of like shift and it's different from my Kaleidos highlighters which are a bit more like chunky I don't mind a chunky highlighter um, I don't think that the Kaleidos highlighters are chunky glitter it's just like the finish of it is a little bit different I think Kleidos is a really good like for camera kind of like makeup product and in person it looks really really cool when you're going to an event or like a cosplay or something like that but like what I feel a little bizarre wearing the Prophecy highlighter to work yes but I'm also comfortable doing that so I don't know I understand that there's some people that like only wear those kind of makeup looks for like a Coachella kind of thing and they don't they do something different for work um, so I think this is one of those highlighters but the shift in this one is so nice and it's not chunky glitter it's just like I said it just it's almost just like a wet just like color change it's really really pretty Ice Queen is more of like the um, like a natural kind of finish for me this one I can kind of get away with wearing more daily and more often I have another highlighter that I'm going to mention next that I reach more for in my day-to-day -day looks as far as like a natural highlighter goes but this would be like my close second and it's just like a little bit more amped up so like I don't know if I was going from like not wearing any makeup at work kind of thing and then going out um, this would be the highlighter that I reach for depending on like I don't know what we're doing I'm not doing much I just come home and then I play cyberpunk and film videos so now you know so the next highlighter I'm going to mention is the Nomad and Sydney Blathers collab. Um, I don't know if this is limited edition, but I hope it's not because it's an actual beautiful shade. I did not purchase this item. I did get it as a gift from a friend and I really, really love this. This is like my favorite highlighter of all time right now. Um, of course, I love my Kleidos highlighters, but those are like more, again, just like when I'm doing bold, colorful looks. Um, I don't know, I feel like I'm the kind of makeup user where I don't mind doing like an, 
a no makeup makeup with like neutral kind of look like I enjoy that as much as I enjoy doing like my colorful different kind of looks and even more my, my more like contour changing my face shape kind of cosplay looks that I'll do um I don't know so it, if you are a natural um my skin but better kind of person kind of makeup user I think you would really really like this like this is the highlighter that I'm wearing today and I have a little bit of sunlight coming through my window I don't know if you guys can really tell just how pretty it is like catching my reflection in the mirror and the way that the light hits it it looks super pretty I really really love this highlighter now does it look similar to my chiffon shade and um, my Haiti shade from ColourPop, like those super shock shadows? Yes, but I think this performs even better. Like just like the finish is just so, so pretty. Um, I, I couldn't recommend this enough. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this is limited edition because this is technically a collab, I think, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful and I hope it doesn't go anywhere because I really, really like this and it's wonderful. Wouldn't be leaving my collection. You're going to be seeing a lot more of it. Um. Okay, so I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's still in my box. But I do just want to talk about quickly my um, Game Beauty Heart Harbinger palette. I can't remember if I talked about this in my last... What is going on with my hair right now? Um, I can't remember if I talked about this in my last makeup monthly haul or not, um, but this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. It's definitely darker and grungier for me um, in terms of like just like the deep blues and purples and reds in that palette. I have seen some beautiful like kind of like gray tones kind of come out from this palette. Um, as far as like Game Beauty goes, I think this was the, the item meant specifically for me. I think it's perfect. I'm not in a rush to pick up their other palettes only because I have those color stories a few times over. This one was just unique and rare, but it does make me keep an eye out on Game Beauty because I hope that their next release is something that's like more me. I don't know, kind of looking at the trends, I wouldn't be surprised if their next palette was something more sci-fi and if that's the case, I'm definitely picking it up because that calls to me, um, especially because I've been replaying Cyberpunk and Halo just came out and like, I don't know, as far as like games go, future kind of like sci-fi kind of games are really having a moment right now. Um, so I would really, really enjoy that. But I truly enjoy this palette. Again, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last one. It's still sitting in my box and usually I clear this box out as soon as I make these videos. So I feel like I may not have but I've been definitely reaching for this a lot. Um, just because I've had a lot of like first impressions in the previous month, you guys haven't seen a lot of the other makeup looks that I was playing with, but this was definitely one of the palettes that I was reaching for the most in that time. Okay, I think everything else is an eyeshadow palette. Um, let's start with this Nomad uh, Home for the Holiday Shimmer Palette. I got this as a gift from a friend, um, and I think this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Now, if you're someone that doesn't use shimmers, I I really wouldn't um, suggest this to you because this is just an all shimmer palette. This is limited edition, and I just I'm so in love with the theming of this palette. So if you're not familiar, Nomad Cosmetics is a couple that bases their collections and their releases off of their travels. So the highlighter that I mentioned was from an Australian visit, um, but this one in particular is inspired by families and fur babies. And so the, the packaging of this palette is interesting because like the same print that's on the inside of this unicarton is the same print on the inside of the palette. And it's just like little pictures of like dogs and snowflakes. Um, the shimmers in this palette are absolutely wonderful. They're really like not something that I expected. Um, they're very intense and very pigmented and I don't really have something like this. But it's nice to have, especially when I'm kind of thinking of like different kind of makeup looks and cosplays that I want to do and how to get like different effects. It's very easy to kind of plan something with like a matte eyeshadow, but you can bring it to the next level by using some shimmers. I mean, if you've ever seen like Grimes makeup, that's kind of like what I'm going for. Should I do a casual cosplay for Grimes? I think that would be fun. Um, but I think this is really, really great. And I played with this a few times off of camera 
and the matte black in here it does exactly what i thought it was going to do and you apply that first and you put the shimmer on top and you kind of get this like different effect of the shimmer so the white shade in this palette works in the same way that the black does so you lay that one first and instead of putting a shimmer on top of it you put a matte so there's a more yellowy kind of shade in the mariposa palette that i really truly love and enjoy and it's very very bright and pigmented but sometimes you know like you kind of want more of like a yellow shimmer especially when kind of doing some of the looks in that palette or pulling some of those colors together so i've been playing with it and i would lay the white shimmer from this palette first and put that matte yellow on top and it changes the dynamic of that matte and it's so so pretty again wouldn't suggest this to someone who doesn't really love shimmers but i think as far as like shimmers go this is a nice companion palette so if you mostly have just mattes in your collection and you kind of want to switch it up with some shimmers this is a really good one like i said it's limited edition for the holidays but this is really really good um since we're on nomad let's talk about the haunted europe palette again i got this one as a gift from a friend um, this has been one of my favorite palettes that I've gotten in the month only because the the tones in this palette like you can see them here on the back I don't think okay I've said this in my first impressions video but this isn't a like um, limited edition palette it's a part of their permanent collection I will be making a video about um, my predictions for trends coming up in 2022 and kind of what I'm seeing because right now just to kind of lightly touch on the topic, brands are releasing holiday items but they're not necessarily holiday specific so they released this around Halloween time and yes it is haunted Europe and Halloween is about haunted ghosts and things like that, spooky times. Um, but when looking at the color story, it's not something that's specific to the Halloween season. Like, yes, there are these deeper kind of tones in here that you can do some like witchy, festive kind of looks. But then you can also pull this out in the summertime and do some really bright, fun, colorful looks. So there's a bit of variety in there. And I, I've really been enjoying that and seeing that in brands. Um, but this eyeshadow palette is really, really wonderful. The formula is really nice. The shimmers and the mattes in here are so buildable and blendable and that's what I like as a makeup user. Um, I know that I have a very heavy hand so shadows for me that I don't have to go in really heavy handedly to kind of get the color that I want. I appreciate because I like to build my color to get what I want and place it where I want um, just because I know that I have a heavy hand and I don't want to sit here and apply something to my face and then have to wash off all the other work that I've done because I screwed up an eyeshadow. You know what I mean? Like it's just too stressful to think about. So I really, really enjoy this and I really love the inspiration for this palette. Um, I will have my first impressions video linked down below, but even the packaging, it has like a, the, like it, it sh when you shift the product, like the, the image change, I forget what those are called. And I don't know, I guess I see myself in this palette or this is like a perfect representation of my aesthetic as a whole in this palette because it's spooky inspired but there's bright colors and the names are really fun and from things that I really enjoy and talk about almost year round. Um, so this is a really, really fun palette. If you had your eyes on it, I would pick it up. Again, it's not going anywhere. It's a part of their permanent line, which I think is really nice. But I think this is a really good, especially if you like more cool toned kind of shades, this is the perfect palette for you. Okay, so then I do want to talk about the Mariposa palette from uh, Melt, Melt Cosmetics. Yes, that's what they're called. Um, this unicarton is so fun because it has the crushed velvet in here. And I mentioned this in my first impressions, but like I, it makes me sad to get rid of it because like I like the, the crushed velvet in here, but what am I going to do? with this. This is trash. I don't need to hold on to it. Um, this is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today. This was also released as Melt's holiday palette, but when you look at it, yes, there are some reds and some greens in there, but I don't look at that palette and instantly think, oh my gosh, uh, Christmas. It You can kind of use it year-round. Um, 
I know definitely in the springtime and the summertime, this might be something that I reach for a lot just because of the color story, but these shadows are so wonderful. And this is the first time Melt has made such a big palette. Melt has never been an affordable brand. Um, their eyeshadow palettes are like $50, $60 kind of thing. And I mean, the, the, I haven't had a Melt palette that I didn't love. Um, there have been some melt items that I've gotten that I haven't really, really loved all that much, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the palette and this is one of my favorite palettes that I've gotten. I kind of want to spring and go for the cheek palette because a lot of the other content creators that I watch that have similar tones to myself, they've gotten their hands on the cheek palette and when they apply it it looks so cute and so pretty on them that i'm like oh well that would look the same on me hopefully um but i don't know there's also some other blush items from melt that i i don't know if they've been on like my my want list for a while and it's like i could either purchase those or purchase the palette they're kind of similar in tone i haven't decided but anyway um, this is an expensive palette. This is $70, but I mean, they don't really have red pigments in any other, it seems like red pigments are only something that they release in their holiday collections. And the red pigments in this palette are beautiful. They're just gorgeous. I'm wearing them today. Um, the shimmers in the melt formula, they don't crease on me and I have like a bit of a hooded lid. They don't, um, I don't get weird fallout on my face. Like it's such a good formula. I couldn't, I couldn't hype it anymore. And this is just coming from someone who I don't think I'm like a makeup artist in any way. Like in, in terms of like, um, a skilled makeup artist. I don't know. Like I know what works for me and what I like, but I mean, that might not work for everybody. Like, I don't know. Anyway, um, so for where my skill level is, this plays really, really well, and um, I just watched Angelica's video earlier today when I'm filming this. Um, I'll have her video here, maybe, I don't know. Uh, and she did a three looks, one palette video, and her looks look kind of similar to mine. But what I like about hers, her video specifically, is that her skill grade is definitely a lot higher than mine. And to see where she took the palette with having a bit more knowledge and a bit more experience on makeup, like, it's just really really awesome to see so if you liked my video and that was like kind of enough for you to kind of consider purchasing this palette go watch her video and see all the cool things that she's done with this palette because like ugh, this is really good i can't really speak for the rest of the collection because i don't have it she reviews the collection in her video um because she got the pr package Oop. Um, I didn't. I only have the palette, so I can only speak for the palette, but I don't regret spending the money on that I did on this palette. I really, really enjoy this. Okay, and then the last item I have is this Kai Lava palette. This is their Volume 2 palette. Um, it doesn't really say the name of the palette on the front. It just says Kai Lava on it. I don't know. Are they, like, always known as, like, Kai Lava, formerly Musée Beauty? I don't know. Um... Am I happy to have this palette in my collection because I wanted the first one? Yes. Uh, like I said, the shadows kind of remind me more of like Lime Crimes formula. So if you are a big fan of Lime Crimes formula, I think you'll definitely enjoy these. I'm not a huge fan of Lime Crimes eyeshadow formula. I'm not a huge fan of Lime Crime in general. I feel like they have a lot of great ideas that like call to me but the way that they perform and the outcome of those products I'm just like oh god like I, this could be better um that's kind of how I feel about this palette like I'm not sad that I have it like I don't regret having it but I how do I put this it's not as nice to use as like this Nomad palette or my um melt palette that I just talked about or even this palette you know, like I can tell a very difference in formula. So for me, I guess for someone making content, it's nice to have things like this. So then when I talk about products, I can give you guys better insight and kind of better um, what my thought process is and I can have things to compare it to. I do think that this product is like, this formula is a little bit drier. The blendability isn't quite there. Like you really, really have to work at it. But if you're an expert blender, then that might not even be an issue for you. I just, 
I mean, I, I have a first impressions video. You'll see it in that video. It's kind of a bit of like, not a struggle bus, but like, I'm definitely working a lot harder and I could be spoiled by someone who uses Natasha Denona, Kleidos Melt, my Nomad palette on an almost daily basis, you know, and those are really, really top tier formulas to me. Like they're really, really good. Those are brands that I'm comfortable suggesting to anybody of any makeup skill. Um, this one though, I don't know. I might suggest it to like a high schooler who's like new and breaking into makeup. And then I might suggest it to someone who's like, I don't know, really, really uh, high in skill in makeup. But even then, I don't even think they would quite like this. Again, I think this is just because it's too similar to the Lime Crime formula. And I personally am not a fan of that. But if you are and you like the Lime Crime formula, I think you would really, really enjoy uh, Kailava's formula and what they're going with. So I'm excited to see when they release stuff because again, I like the inspiration of their collections and the things that they release, but it might just be something that I enjoy from afar and I like to watch the review videos and watch people do looks with them, but it wouldn't be something that I personally would gravitate towards. But the shimmers in this palette are absolutely wonderful and when you put these shimmers on top of the mattes in here, I don't know what happens, but that shimmer just really like pops in a way that like, Reminds me of my Kleidos shimmers, you know, but then I already have my Kleidos shimmers. Again, if you were interested, it's there. It's available. Um, it's volume two. I kind of wish I got my hands on volume one, but I'm happy with the shades that come in volume two. And I think that's it for my monthly haul. Um, I don't know. I'm... I'm okay with the things that I purchased. Again, a, a lot of these things I think are going to be sticking in my collection for a while. Some of these items I can see eventually maybe being decluttered later on down the line, but let me know in the comments down below. Did you get any of these same items? Um, did you get any of these items because of my first impressions video? I feel like I had so many last month that I'm okay not having any for a while. Um, but it's good to be back. It's good to see you guys and I will see you for tomorrow's video.